My name is Gloria Sadler, and I'm the director of Bristol Community College's Taunton Center and a graduate of Bristol Community College's class of 2010. To our faculty, students, and guests, I'd like to say welcome. I'd like to send a special welcome to the following individuals. David Sousa from the Taunton Public School Committee. Shauna O'Connell, State Representative for Taunton. Don Cleary, City Council and former Taunton Public School Superintendent. Sherry Costa Hanlon, City Council. Dr. Gerald Crono, City Council and former Taunton Public School Superintendent. Our current Taunton Public School Superintendent, Dr. Julie Hackett. I'm not sure if she has arrived yet, but she is always a great fan of Bristol Community College at Taunton. Carrie Babin from the Taunton Area Chamber of Commerce. Come on up, Carrie. Your seat is waiting for you. Welcome. Lurie Laura is here on behalf of Senator Pacheco. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Keiko Arroyo. My dear, come on up. We have a seat for you. Come on up. And we have some individuals who have come from the Fall River campus who are here to participate in our Taunton campus celebrations. We have Keith Tony, our college comptroller. Keith, welcome. Thank you for coming. Steve Kenyon, Vice President of Finance. Steve Olzog, Vice President of Student Services. Carmen Botelho, she is the director for the Taunton ABE GED ESL program. Welcome, Carmen. Joanne Pelletier, she is the vice president of information technology. Joanne. <laughs> Kathy Garganta, she is the vice president of enrollment services. Welcome. And Paul Jefferson, he is the Director of Information Technology. And as I look to my left, I notice that the Dean of Advisement, Deb Cohen, has arrived. Deb, welcome. Kristen and Lucy Resendez, welcome. They are from the Placement Center. It is such a privilege to have you join us as we come together to celebrate this milestone of this great institution of higher learning. Our students, staff, faculty, alumni, and community members put in much time and effort towards their studies, instruction, research, civic engagement, partnerships, and other contributions throughout the year here at the Taunton Center. Each of you have assisted to enhance the programs offered, enhance the programs, I'm sorry, and to help us build strong partnerships and shape student life on this campus with your participation and many contributions. At this time, I would like to recognize one of our many local supporters, Dr. Julie Hackett, our current Taunton superintendent. She has been an advocate when we weren't sure how we were going to offer daytime classes in the Taunton community. She was able to make sure that we were able to get into the Kohanit School and as well as state and continue our evening classes at the Freedman. Dr. Hackett, please accept this gift.
At this time, I would like to ask Shauna O'Connell to come up and greet everyone. She has a meeting in Boston, so we'd like to get her in so that she may greet you. Thank you very much. It is so exciting to be here this morning to celebrate with you the 50th anniversary of BCC College. And, you know, if you think about it, when we think about someone's 50th wedding anniversary, we get so excited and about the commitment that two people can have for one another. And we often wonder, you know, what is the secret? Well, I don't think it's a secret here at BCC that it has been the work of extraordinary people over 50 years with a passion for educating and who are committed to changing the world one learner at a time, as Dr. Sabrega is so fond of saying and as we all love to hear him say. And I think that's very meaningful because to me it indicates that they are really focused on every individual who walks through their door and the needs of that particular person and helping them to be successful in meeting their goals. BCC has been a life-changing experience for so many people, enabling them to graduate and enter a profession or a trade or to move on to even further education. And this campus in Taunton has been a godsend. It has opened the door of opportunity for so many people who may not have had access to college but are now here right at our Taunton campus. So while we celebrate the past, we also recognize that BCC is a leader in the future. I recently had the opportunity to tour the Fall River campus with a student that I mentored from Taunton High. And she was not very interested in community college, but I said, look, let's go check it out anyway. She was really enamored with the campus and how much BCC had to offer. And I had never toured the campus either in that depth, and I could not believe all the programs they had to offer. You could see that they keep up with the latest technology from the energy sector to the healthcare sector to their ACE program in entrepreneurship. And realize the importance and the need to connect business and education so that we're putting people out into the workforce that meet the needs of our employers. And also offering adults in need a transition from one profession or job into another or to a new trade. And one thing that I think has really been a hallmark for BCC is their GED program, uh, something that I've been involved in and have visited that class uh, several times. And this school is so committed to encouraging anyone and everyone and letting them know that it is never too late to get your high school diploma and that you can do so much more with it. And from the minute you walk in the door of the GED program, they encourage you and guide you through it, step by step, because they have uh, an invested commitment in each individual person in helping them to succeed. So I think there is something for everyone at BCC. And whether it's in Fall River, Taunton, New Bedford, or Attleboro, BCC con continues to give people the one thing that will put them on that lifelong path to independence and success, and that is a quality education. So thank you all for your commitment and your hard work. I want you to know how much we are grateful and we appreciate everything you do, and congratulations to all the students that are here, and best of luck. Thank you. I just want to step back. I realized my phone was covering the individuals who are charged with the Certified Nurse and Assistant Program here at the Taunton Center, and we have numerous Taunton residents that come through their program. I'd like to welcome Wendy Sanford, <laughs> Suzanne Parent, and Susan Silva. 
Now it is time for us to at least allow um, Keiko Arroyo to come up and say a word or two. She's another individual that is busy, busy, busy. So we need to allow her an opportunity to speak and continue her day. Thank you so Thank much you for being much. here. I was sitting in the back. I was sitting in the back because I too have uh, meetings to go to uh, later on. And, and so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't um, disrupting anything. Both of my children graduated from Bristol Community College. And so I am thrilled to be here with you to celebrate 50 years of, of helping our communities and, and being a strong, um, just being a strong presence in our communities to help our, our communities be a better place. My, um, my kids both had really good experiences and um, we took classes at, um, at New Bedford, we took classes at Fall River, um, I don't think we did, did, did one in Taunton, but we did one in Attleboro. And so with this week, I don't know if you realize it, but this is the kickoff of the celebration week for their 50, for the 50th anniversary. So Taunton is the first celebration, and I know that they're looking forward to celebrating at each one of the campuses. I just want to echo the, com um, the comments of my colleague and congratulate all of the, the worker, all of the employees of Bristol Community College. I know that there are a number that don't usually come to Taunton that are here today. And um, this is a, a, a great day to celebrate. I don't know if you've real, noticed the, uh, the photo booth at the back, but I've already been able to take a photo with Dr. Spraga. He's the man of the hour. We're all happy to, to celebrate with you, Dr. Spraga. And again, congratulations, Bristol Community College. Now it is time for us to celebrate the accomplishments and add to the memories as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of Bristow Community College. I would like to say congratulations and happy birthday to an institution that provides so many the opportunity of higher education and the support to pursue their dreams. Please enjoy today's memorable program. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tia Castellano, and I am a graduate of Bristol Community College's class of 2010. At this time, I would ask that you stand as I lead the invocation for today's program, provided to us by Reverend Adrian Berry Burton of the Interfaith Campus Ministry. Dear God, you whom we call by so many names. Fill this place with your holy presence. Help us remember that you, allow, with you, all of our lives matter. Help us to honor the giftedness in each other. Open our hearts and our minds as we are reminded in this time that the rainbow of hues, textures, and shapes and the variety of accents on our lips do not negate the possibility of a more beloved community. In a synergistic creative power to construct beauty in a shared future that lifts us all. Inspire us, breathe into all of us the courage to be the bearers of dignity, honor, intellect, a collective memory of accomplishments, grace, creative purpose, beauty, forgiveness, love, and a faith in a conscious, stretched out wide spirit of unity. May the strength of peace and love fuel our unity. And the people say, Amen.
Hi, my name is Marilyn De Silva, and I am a Bristol Community College Taunton Center student in the Early Childhood Education pro Program. At this time, please stand as we welcome the president of Bristol Community College, Dr. John J. Sobrega. Thank you, everyone. Please, uh, that's quite a warm welcome. Thank you very much. And welcome to Bristol Community College, where, uh, as it's already been said, we change the world, learner by learner. I hope everybody is recovered from yesterday's disaster with the Patriots. Uh, <laughs> we need a little cheer in our life. Right? If you think things are bad uh, now, wait till Tom Brady gets hurt, uh, getting knocked down all the time. But, We'll try to bring some cheer to your life here today. And uh, it, it is a great opportunity for us to uh, tell you about Bristol Community College and all that's happened from very modest beginnings in 1965. Uh, December of uh, 1965 was uh, December 9th, I think it was. It was the charter was signed. Uh, and then we moved into full operation in um, in, uh, tw in uh, the next year, in, uh, in 1966, and uh, the first class in 1968. Uh, so from that uh, beginning, uh, we've now grown uh, considerably. Um, I arrived here in 2000, and uh, my predecessor, Eileen Farley, was here from 1978 to 2000, and the only other president, we've only had three, the founding president, Jack Hudnell, uh, left in 1978 from the 1966 beginnings. So for the 50 years, we've had three presidents, and uh, each uh, uh, brings uh, certain th skills or certain interests to the, to the college, and, and we've since moved ahead. Since those days, we've moved into New Bedford and Attleboro and Taunton, as well as Fall River. Uh, we are now the second largest community college by uh, head count uh, by full-time equivalent students uh, in the co in this Commonwealth, 15 community colleges in the Commonwealth, and we've grown uh, uh, some 83 percent since, since I've arrived, and we hope that the Taunton population will continue to grow. Uh, diversity has grown from 11 uh, percent to 22 uh, percent of our student population. So we're trying to uh, make a warm, accommodating, welcoming environment for everybody in the community. The average age is about 27 years old, so we're not just 18-year-olds coming out of high school, but uh, adult population coming back to pursue their uh, education, whether credit or non-credit. And of course, we have a good deal of uh, uh, extensive network of partnerships with the uh, business community as we do workforce development, economic development, work with the chamber, and uh, uh, things are moving forward there as we try to fulfill the uh, southeastern Massachusetts uh, workforce economic needs. And uh, in addition to that, we have elaborate network with the uh, uh, pre-K through 12 uh, s system uh, across the southeastern uh, Massachusetts and uh, we want to continue the build uh, as we have a common interest and uh, Superintendent Hackett has been wonderful as working with us as we move toward not only completion of uh, pre-K through 12 and high school graduation but move on into higher education and then move beyond Bristol uh, to UMass Dartmouth or Bridgewater or uh, a baccalaureate granting institution. It's so important Education is the lifeblood uh, for our, uh, our, our whole region, for the, co for the uh, Commonwealth, for that matter. And we want to make sure that those opportunities are available. So I thank you for coming. I don't want to take much of your time. I know you have to get back to work. But uh, I, I'm very grateful for all that you've done. And uh, I want to uh, especially acknowledge, of all the people that have been acknowledged, uh, Gloria Sadler, uh, Gloria is uh, up, Gloria. <laughs> I think that uh, I want to introduce, uh, I don't think, I want to introduce uh, Don Clary and uh, the former Taunton School representative. Uh, we're, we're trying to move very rapidly uh, into the partnerships 
Uh, some have already been introduced and uh, we want to just reinforce the idea that we're looking for partnerships in the community as we move forward and uh, serve you. Uh, we're looking for a new location. Unfortunately, we're not able to stay in this location, uh, but we'll be here through the spring and into the summer. And then, of course, there'll be news as negotiations continue for another site. But it will be in Taunton, and it will certainly be available for the Taunton community. So I'm going to bring back uh, Gloria, as you, you uh, okay, I'm sorry, come on in, Chet. And uh, please, uh, please, I uh, well, hope you can stay and enjoy some of the food uh, for with us after the uh, speaking program, and uh, we're gonna move forward right now. Thank you very much for coming. Hello, my name is Shannon Savoy and I am the senior staff here at the Taunton Center. I am a graduate of Bristol Community College, class of 2015, in the general business management. We are here to celebrate 50 years of service, community, and leadership. To share with us the history of why we celebrate the college's anniversary in December, I would like to introduce Vice President of College Communications, Ms. Sally Cameron. Thank you so much. I am uh, Vice President of College Communications at Bristol Community College, and I have been at the college for 30 years. So I haven't been there for the full 50, but I've seen quite a bit of change and wonderful things happen. And in my position, I am the co-chair of the 50th anniversary committee. Uh, and so Gloria asked me to share with you a couple of things. One is why we celebrate in December. Why are we doing this Charter Day? Why is it called Charter Day? Well, in December of 1965, a radical new idea of higher education was founded by uh, signing of a charter that it would be established, a community college would be established in Fall River. And the following September, 356 students during the day and 158 students at night enrolled in this very unusual uh, groundbreaking operation. And you can see where we've come from there. Uh, So we celebrate uh, our anniversary, the actual day is the 9th of December, but because President Sprague, who wanted to be at all these events, couldn't be in all places at all times, we have spread it out through this week, and we had one last week as well at our Duval Center uh, on the waterfront in Fall River. And I have to tell you that I am so impressed with the work that this committee did because I'm the co-chair of the whole celebration, and I've said this to everyone as, as people have been planning, all I do is say yes. I gave them some money and I said, go make your own, and Gloria and the committee, you guys did a fabulous job, I'm so impressed. The final thing I want to talk about is my little friend here. This is TCS 50. Time Capsule Suggestions 50, built by our theater de department, and he's quite fun to have around. And we're taking him to every campus because we are asking you to contribute ideas to the 50th anniversary time capsule. Uh, I was going to bring it over. There's a form that will be here, and you can, uh, while we're here, because we are taking him home to our office where he sits in the corner and. Um, speaks to us occasionally um, and we'll be able to collect them here and Gloria will send them over to us. So any ideas that you think need to go into the time capsule which will be open at the 100th anniversary and I can be fairly certain I will not be here to open it. So again Taunton Center, you just did a fabulous job, and I thank you so much, all of you, for being here, and for all of the wonderful sponsors who, who made this celebration so wonderful. Thank you.
At this time, I would like to introduce David Souza from the Taunton School Committee. Thank you, Shannon. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for having me. The reason I'm here today is to celebrate with BCC for 50 years, but certainly I bring my congratulations on behalf of my colleagues on the school committee, but more importantly, I'm here to tell my story as a BCC alumni. Back a few years ago, as a matter of fact, I was thinking when they introduced Steve us over here, if I remember right, he was my advisor when I first went in there a couple of years ago. Um, back in 19, January of 1985, I walked on campus for the first time as an evening student. I was working during the day, and I said, I'm, I can't do this for the rest of my life. I can't work, I have to find something better than that. So I took my first class, and of course, they tell you take the general education courses first, and that's, that's, that's like pulling teeth. Um, I had an English writing course, and the English writing course was, was interesting. But the, the reason I'm telling you this story was the first day I walked on campus, the first day I walked into a classroom, I met my future wife of coming up on 30 years. So, so not only did I, not only did I start my BCC career, but I also met my, my beautiful wife. Um, I graduated from BCC in 1990 with a associates in mechanical engineering. Um, I worked at night, going back to school to get my degree, and then from there I transferred over to. Uh, transferred my degree over to Roger Williams University and uh, graduated there five years later with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. And today I'm the engineering manager for a company and I'm in charge of the engineering department. So people, people ask me all the time and we have this conversation with my colleagues and with my superintendent is, where, is your, where does your passion come from for education? My passion comes from helping young people achieve their dreams like I have achieved mine. It took me a while, but I certainly um, worked hard to get where I am. And it's all hard work, but certainly there's a lot of adults that help you along the way. And uh, that's where I get my passion for education, um, is I worked hard and, I, and now I help students with their dreams uh, moving forward into higher education. So I'm, I'm just delighted to be here today, just to talk and tell you a few minutes about my story. I, I, Gloria, I said to Gloria uh, when she called me, and I think Shannon called me, I said, how much time do I have? And they said, less than five minutes. I said, I can't tell you about BCC in less than five minutes. But, uh, but anyway, congratulations. I, uh, it's a delight to be here, and I'm tickled that you're here in Taunton and going to be in Taunton for a long time. I know I spent most of my time down in Fall River. I did have a few courses over at the old high school when, when the Taunton campus was over there. Uh, but I'm just, it's just fantastic where BCC has come and the amount of courses and, and everything. And I'm just so delighted to be here. Thank you and uh, another 50 years to BCC. Thank you, David. Next, I would like to introduce Sherry Costa Hanlon from Taunton City Council. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for inviting me. I'm very excited to be here. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you, Dr. Sprager. Um, I wanted to talk, you know, on the program, it says we'll talk about a little bit of history, but I also wanted to let you know about my. Uh, connection not just to BCC but also to another community college where I had the privilege of attending which was Holyoke Community College a little further from here but nonetheless a wonderful experience. Um, if we go back, say we're talking about 1965, 50 years ago, it's funny, um, Sally had spoke about you know the, 
the charter, creating the charter, and she said a radical new idea in 1965. Well, that was the year I was born too, so I guess a couple of radical ideas happened in 1965. Right here in Taunton, right on North Pleasant Street. So those who know me know that it was probably, um, probably not just by accident um, that I'm here. So in 1965, um, you know, the, Dr. Sprager was talking about our loss of the Patriots, but in 1965, the Celtics won the NBA championship. So that was hopefully we'll, we'll do it again for the Patriots this year. Um, a postage stamp was two cents. A gallon of gas was 27 cents a gallon. Um, and we were, as a nation, um, facing some challenges. Um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was arrested with 2,600 other people um, protesting in Selma for voters' rights. Um, and we think that we have come forward, we certainly have come forward from those days, but um, just like we celebrate 50 years of BCC and what we've accomplished now, we talk about what we look at the students out here and what we're hoping you to accomplish, and, and I'm sure we're hoping that we will move forward, we would move even more forward um, with the, pro the progress with um, education and social justice in our, in our, um, in our country. So um, we look back, but we look ahead. And I'd like to share a story with you personally, my connection with BCC. I will tell you, um, as I said, I was born in Taunton in 1965. Um, my mom never graduated from high school. I was the youngest of four kids, and she had my brother when she was 17, and um, never graduated from high school. So at the young age of 60, she got her GED, and we were, went to a um, ceremony in Far River, the Far River community, you know, BCC campus. And it was wonderful, um, and I could not have been prouder of her. Um, so that, that's my connection with BCC. It really, um, it gave her wings. And after she graduated, she earned her GED. Um, she became involved in the um, Taunton Literacy Council and started mentoring um, adult learners who couldn't read because she understood the challenge. Um, so I, I feel like I have a strong connection with BCC when it comes to my family. My own personal community college connection, as I said, was with HCC, Holyoke Community College. And uh, I was at UMass Amherst. I'd started at UMass Amherst um, and was a little overwhelmed with the classes, but loved it. And uh, I was, as I said, an advocate. I've been an advocate for my whole life. So I was an advocate. I was working with Greenpeace. I was working with MassPerg, um, dealing with environmental issues, social justice and environmental issues. And I decided during the break that I would take an environmental science class. And I had the good fortune of having the head of the department. It was an evening class. The head of the department at HCC for environmental sciences taught that class. And it was such a small class, there was such a diverse group of students. There were people who were coming right out of high school all the way up to people who were already had degrees and were learning more about environmental science. When I was taking environmental science, no one knew what it was. I always had to explain what environmental science was. In 1992, no one knew what that was. Um, but HCC was on the cutting edge. They actually had an environmental science associate degree. Um, and so they were at the cutting edge. And I met um, the head of the department, who was a phenomenal gentleman, and he said to me, you know, you want to go and change the world, and you want to knock on doors, and you want to tell people to recycle and stop using dioxins, but you know, you don't know any of the science. He said, you're a chicken when it comes to science and math. And he was right, I was. I was, I could stand up and make an argument, but I didn't know the science and math. And so I took that class, and I continued to take three or four classes after at Holyoke Community College. I got my legs, I got my, my yearning for science, I got my passion for science, and I realized I could actually do science. I would have never thought that. When I entered UMass Amherst, there was no way I thought that I could actually be a scientist, never. But Holyoke Community College gave me the confidence to become a scientist, gave me the confidence to understand organic chemistry, um, understand calculus, and I just simply could not have done it at UMass Amherst. I just couldn't have. It was, I, I graduated from UMass, but I would have been lost. And it is a wonderful campus, but it would not have served me. And so I did go on uh, to UMass. I did earn an environmental science undergraduate degree from UMass. I went on to law school. I graduated from Suffolk Law School. 
Um, so I will tell you, I understand what it, when people talk about non-traditional students and how the community college system, and specifically Bristol Community College serves that, I understand. My mom was a non-traditional student. I was a non-traditional student only by the fact that, yes, I was enrolled at UMass, but I would not have earned a degree in environmental science from there had I not been able to do that first stop at Holyoke Community College. And it makes so much difference. And I understand the challenges of all the students here. Um, I understand what you put in every day. Uh, it's so much more than just going to college as the traditional student. And I admire you, you have my respect, but especially I admire the staff, um, all, of the, all of your teachers, they, obviously care about what they do. They've sparked my, my own um, knowledge and I hope they spark your knowledge. So I look forward to another 50 years and great things coming out of BCC, starting with this class. So thank you. I just wanted to present you with these flowers and thank you for all your support oh, that you have you. given oh, us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tradition is a well-known practice in all cultures. It provides assurance, validity, and a balance between the possible and impossible. Of these practices is the art of song. This art form is able to reach where hands can't. It is able to convert emotions to words where it comes closest to the meaning of what we're feeling. It has been proven that words can lead to happiness or sadness. With this said, please stand and join me for a moment of silence. I used to think that I could not go on And life was nothing but an awful song But now I know the meaning of true love My passion has become Bristol community College, if I can breathe it, if I can see it, if I can assist my Taunton Center students, I'll help them believe that they can fly, that they can fly that they can fly. Thank you. Hello, my name is Raquel Cooper, and I am in a Bristol Community College Taunton Center student in the General Studies program. We have opportunities to create, reinvent, and fine-tune ourselves. Students shape life on campus every day. And with their many contributions, today it is my pleasure to introduce what we have coined our history makers. Ted August is the Vice President of the Male Empowerment Network and the Taunton Center's very first student organization. Hi, uh, my name is Ted August. I am the uh, Vice President of the Male Empowerment Network. Uh, the Male Empowerment Network, AKA Men, was created to, in, uh, to improve the retention 
and the degree complexion of um, minority students at BCC. Excuse me. Our programs and activities are designed to promote empowerment, engagement, success, and leadership to BCC students. Brotherhood and the organization provides priorities, personal academics, professionalism, and development, while we encourage our BCC students to be successful, not only here at Taunton, but at Attleboro and New Bedford and Fall River. And on behalf of men, I would like to wish BCC a happy 50th birthday. Thank you. The Male Empowerment Network is the first student organization at this campus. And at this time, we invite Ted to provide the club's registration and photo of the club members at the Taunton Center contribution, as the Taunton Center contribution to the Bristol Community Time Capsule. I would also like to introduce Sean Hampy, the very first student, Taunton student, the Taunton Center student representative to the Student Senate. My name is Sean Hampy. I am the Taunton Senate representative, rep, rep, I can't read, representative to the Student Senate at All Bristol Community College. I bring greetings from the Bristol Community College Student Senate. The Student Senate is the student government body which represents and addresses students' concerns within the structures of the college government. governance. We are the voice of the student. It is an honor to be in such a role, and it is my pleasure to serve as the first student representative here at the Taunton Center. Thank you. We have one last speaker. This is one of my Bristol Community College Taunton students who has been me, with me from our Freedman location days. He came in as a student who wasn't sure what he wanted to do, but he knew he needed and wanted to be in college. His mom came in, paid me a visit. She said, Gloria, you have to assist me with steering him into a major, steering him into a career. Jeffrey has a very special and unique story that he would like to share. It's about two minutes long. I thought it was very important that we end the program with Jeffrey Medeiros telling his story of where he is now as he prepares to graduate from Bristol Community College in May 2016. Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey Madera, and I'm graduating in the spring of 2016. Uh, when I, f well, I graduated high school in 2012, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. If I wanted to go into the workforce or if I wanted to go back to school. So I kind of just worked for about a year and it was not that great. I was like, this just isn't for me, I need to go back to school. But I didn't know what I wanted to go back for. And so I decided to enroll into BCC, work during the day, take some evening classes. And it was the greatest decision I think I've ever made. Thanks to Gloria and some other professors, I found out that I wanted to study marketing, and I, sorry, <laughs> I was doing good. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, I decided to go and take an internship that turned into a permanent position at Allstate, practicing sales and marketing. I'm getting really good at communicating. The uh, agency owner is taking care of us and the internship is going well. I probably would never have that opportunity if it wasn't for Bristol Community College and I'd just like to thank the school. At this time, I would like us all to join in to sing happy birthday to Bristol Community College.